several times we've mentioned the ring Rx, which is the ring of polynomials with coefficients that come from the real numbers. We can do a similar kind of thing if we start with any kind of field. Sorry. So let's say that R is a commutative ring. Now, we're not using the real numbers here. It could be, but really this is any ring in general. So we're going to say the ring of polynomials with coefficients from this commutative ring is basically exactly what you would think. We're going to say it's all things of the form a n x to the n plus a n minus 1 x to the n minus 1 all the way down to a1x plus a0, such that all the ai's come from our commutative ring. Now, if we do that, addition and multiplication in this thing are going to be exactly what you think they're going to be. Rather than trying to do it in general, Let's take a look at a specific kind of thing. So if I have z2x, that's going to be the set of all polynomials like this where our coefficients are either 0 or 1 because they have to come from z2. So I might have something like an element of that is x cubed plus x squared plus 1. And if I want to take that plus, say, x to the fourth plus x cubed plus x plus 1, we're going to add just like you would think. However, because we're going to be adding the, these things, we're adding them the coefficients from z2. So I only have x to the fourth. But when I take 1x cubed plus 1x cubed, that's 2x cubed, but mod 2, that's 0. That comes out. We only have a single x squared. We only have a single x. But when I do 1 plus 1, I'm adding in z2, so I get just x. Similarly, if I have something like x cubed plus x, and I'm going to times it by x squared plus x plus 1. I'm going to basically foil it out just like you would in a normal thing. So we're going to have x cubed times x squared is x to the fifth. x cubed times x gives me x to the fourth. x cubed times 1 gives me x cubed. x times x squared gives me another x cubed x times x gives me an x squared, x times 1 gives me an x, and then when I combine like terms, once again, I'm adding them, taking the coefficients in z2. So x cubed plus x cubed is going to give me 0, and this thing is x to the fifth plus x to the fourth plus x squared plus x. Let's do it again, and let's maybe go to, say, z4x, just to, so we've got things that aren't just binary. So now, my coefficients for my polynomial can be either 0, 1, 2, or 3. So let's say I have something like 3x cubed plus 2x squared plus 5. And if I add 3x cubed plus x squared plus 2x plus 2, and actually, hold on, I said plus 5, 
That doesn't exist in Z4x. I can do plus 1, and that'll work. 3x cubed plus 3x cubed. Normally it would be 6x cubed, but we've got to do things mod 4, so it's 2x cubed. 2x squared plus x squared. 3x squared. That's perfectly fine. There's only a single x. And 1 plus 2 gives me 3. All that thing is fine, mod 4. If I do 3x squared plus 2x plus 3 times a 2x plus 3, 6x cubed would really be 2x cubed. We'd have 9x squared would really be just x squared. We'd have 4x squared, which is just 0. We'd have 6x, which is 2x. Another 6x is another 2x. 3 times 3 is 9, which is really 1. And again, 2x plus 2x, 4x is actually 0. So this would be 2x cubed plus x squared plus 1. So again, any commutative ring that we start with, we can go ahead and create these polynomials from it, and they work pretty much the way we would expect. Now, one interesting thing is this works for any commutative ring. We can create this ring of polynomials, but if we start with an integral domain, which again means it has a unity and it has no zero divisors, then when I create the ring of polynomials from that, then that is also an integral domain. For the most part, it just follows pretty immediately. Because d is an integral domain, it has to have a unity. And that unity, just taking just that thing as sort of the constant of a polynomial and having no terms with x's in them, that will work as a unity for your integral domain, for the d of x, for your ring of polynomials. Similarly, just because d can't have integral divisors, when I do this whole multiplication process here, I can't have any polynomials that end up being integral, being zero divisors. I can't get all the terms to cancel out because I can't get the individual things to cancel out.